Welcome back to my channel guys. You guys have seemed to like my room tour. So today we're going to do a little lash cart tour. Here you go. You can see I have a little lash cart just like everybody else. We're going to start from the top all the way to the bottom. Here you can see that I have my lash uh, trays. This is going to be a volume tray and a classic tray. I always keep just one of each. Next we're going to go to my phone mount. I use this all the time. This is great instead of having it in my pocket or in my hand. It is there for wanting to change the music or answer a quick text message. Next we're going to move on to my wax. I do wax eyebrows, tint them, and do henna. This is my favorite one. It's the Satin Smooth Cream Wax. Next you're going to see that I have my um, humidity reader. This is important for every lash tech. We're gonna move along here into my favorite foam eye pads. I love these pads. If you haven't tried them, you gotta use them. It will stay in place, keep those bottom lashes away. Next, if you wanna take great pictures, you wanna get one of these little things off Amazon. It has three settings. Then we're gonna do our classic jelly pads. Then we have our handy little mirror here for checking for stickies, a nice little Sharpie, and then an old tweezer. These are so important and useful. Don't throw it out. You're going to use it for this right here, what I'm about to show you. This is for taking off sticky lash strips and putting them back. Really handy. Just keep your old tweezer. Going on to the second shelf, you're going to see I have my tape dispenser here. I've been using it for years and my favorite Japanese tape, some distilled water. And also two of my favorite products, I can't live without the Lash Bond and the Glue Aid from Lashbox LA. Also the primer, just in case I miss something. And some lash shampoo. If you haven't seen my last video of how to clean lashes, I use this right here. Love it. It's by Prolong. Then you'll see that I use the Cream Remover by Yegi. It works great. Then my favorite lash glue of all time. This is the Iconic Bond by Lashbox LA. It works great for low humidity. Then we're gonna jump to my little storage containers. I got these from the container store. They are acrylic. They were like $16, but they hold everything and keep it dust free. I use this for waxing, tinting, and then um, when I do my rinses, my four by four squares. Then we're gonna go to my tweezers. I just keep it in a nice little school box I got from Target, I believe. Keeps my brushes, my clean brushes, and my clean tweezers separated. I love it, it's really easy. You can take it anywhere you go. Here are some from Lashbox, and the last ones were Paris Lash. Also some makeup remover wipes, just in case someone comes in looking crazy with makeup on. You know, I don't like that. The next container I have will hold all of my lash stuff. So my little glue rings are so cute. My heart has two sides and also the little widgets for fanning. Some micro swabs I don't use. Lip wands and some spoolies. Every lash chick's necessities. And here you go. That's the second shelf. Next is the third shelf. I keep it a little messy. Um, but you're going to see here I have my wax stuff that I use. Some cleaner, aloe, and oil. Next is my fan. I love this fan. Got it from Amazon. Here are my lashes. I use three kinds right now. I have Paris Lash, Lash Box. And the third one I'll show you in just a second. We'll do a close, close up because they're from Amazon and they're awesome. But here you can see I have some loose fans that I have made a while back and I keep them for emergency. Here are the Paris Lash Up Close and the Lash Box Up Close. I love Lash Box. I wish they made uh, single trays for one size. It works great. This is the one from Amazon. It's awesome, guys. This is such a good product. It's so soft. They keep their curl. And they have that nice little feather tip. And just they're just such a deep black color. So this brand right here, if you ever find it on Amazon, it is so nice. Out of all the ones I've tried, it's good. Here is some henna products. This is the cleaner and activator. Next is my Lash Box uh, Lash Lift Kit. <laughs> I can open it. It's just They package it so nice. But here you can see I have kind of a hot mess. This is where I throw all of my uh, like Saram Wrap, Lash Lift stuff, and just the henna brows. I keep everything in one go. When I need it, I just bring it to the top of my lash cart. Here you can see the new henna I just got in. I'll do a tutorial on this one because I'm still learning it and still got to use it. Comes in a few different colors and overall great price. So let's see if it works good. We'll do that in another video. 
Lastly, I have my acetone. This is great for moving any glue on tweezers and some things that aren't on my cart but that are important are my hand sanitizer. I use it for every client in between every client and here is my ultra care for disinfecting all my tools and of course a couple little scrunchies just in case and I'm running out of those but that concludes the tour guys thank you for watching make sure you stay tuned on this YouTube journey hope you enjoyed bye